Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing the concept of uh, dynamic pro programming, obviously. And we will calculate binomial coefficient. So guys, binomial coefficient is uh, something which uh, we all know. Let's say I'm writing NCK. So NCK can be calculated as N factorial by K factorial and N minus K factorial. So guys, I can represent binomial coefficient in the form of recurrence relation. So if I want to write a recurrence relation or a recursive calls for binomial coefficient, I can always write it. How? Your NCK can be calculated as n minus 1 c k plus n minus 1 c k minus 1. This is known as a recurrence relation for, uh, for binomial coefficient. n c k is taken as n minus 1 c k plus n minus 1 c k minus 1. So guys, I have written it in the form of a recurrence relation. Now, always, uh, it means there will be a recursion recursion condition for it so guys let me tell you that uh, your recursion condition is uh, solved uh, you know recursion is something which is uh, going to call the function again and again but there is a terminating condition the terminating condition is when if your k value is zero your nck becomes one you can put over here you put k value as zero so what you will get n factorial by 0 factorial multiplied with n minus k. n minus 0 factorial is n factorial. So n factorial and factorial are, are cancelled. So uh, what about 1 by 0 factorial answer is 1. And same applies with if your n value becomes equal to k value, there it also, uh, you know, uh, this, there it, it is also taken as uh, 1 where n c k value becomes 1. How? You can easily try to calculate n by n c k, your n value becomes equal to k value. This is k factorial and n factorial, I'm writing it as a k factorial. n minus k factorial is 0 factorial. So the answer is obviously 1. So, uh, so I'm putting the condition over here as n c k value will be equal to n minus 1 c k plus n minus 1 c k minus 1. And the answer of n c k is 1 there in, in two conditions when k value is equal to 0 and uh, your and uh, your uh, n value becomes equal to k value, then this entire solution is clear. I hope this part is clear to all of you. Now, the important point over here is that your dynamic programming can be solvable using uh, using uh, you know your binomial coefficient can be solved by using dynamic programming for that to happen uh, we always use the concept of uh, tables so i'm putting the tables over here uh, with a dynamic programming and uh, i'm taking certain rows and columns right and So we can take this row and we have this table and we are taking some certain values for this. We are taking n c k. So uh, guys, I'm putting n on row side and k is on column side. Uh, I'm putting kth row with uh, 0, 1, 2, Three, 
फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन राइट एंड ओवर हेयर विद थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड लेट्स है राइट so uh, what we have to do in this particular case is that uh, over here the calculation of this answer is since i told you that pre existing values can be taken as in the form of a reference so we all know that nc k value is equal to 1 if k value is equal to 0 and n value is equal to k so guys if this is entirely your row and uh, sorry if this is entirely your columns with k values and this is entirely your rows with n values so what we will do when n is equal to k the answer is 1 so then 0 and 0 they are same the answer is 1 right then when 1 and 1 are same the answer is 1 similarly answer is 2 1 1 1 1 this is by default and this is pre existing reference that i will use okay so when n value is equal to k when n value is equal to k how in that particular case uh, i will be going with uh, over here we have got n equal to k then we have got the answer when k value is equal to 0 this is here we k value with 0 so i'm putting the answer all answers as 1 so now it is using these answers if i have to calculate let's say guys i have to calculate 2c1 so 2c1 calculation can be done as in the recurrence relation it can be calculated as uh, 2 minus 1 c k answer is 1 plus 2 minus 1 c k minus 1 1 minus 1 means 1 c 1 plus 1 c 0 so guys what is 1 c 1 you might have calculated 1 c 0 you have might have calculated so this answer would be 1 c 1 this is 1 c 1 right 1 c 1 this is 1 and 1 c 0 this is this so uh, we this answer is calculation of these two so the answer of 1 plus 1 is similarly this answer will be the calculation of these two add addition 3 uh, this answer will be the calculation of these two 3 uh, this answer uh, would be the calculation of these two 4 uh, this answer is the calculation of these two 6 this answer 4 again if i have to calculate this 1 plus 4 5 uh, 4 plus 6 10 10 5 right this answer 6 15 20 15 uh 6 right and this answer 1 plus 6 7 6 plus 15 21 35 35 21 and 7 so guys you have calculated binomial coefficient you don't need to go over the every formula from previous answers you can calculate this answer i hope this problem is clear if there is any doubt kindly let uh, put it in comment box thank you very very much for the support thank you